Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 2272, substring with largest variance. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we are given a string and we need to calculate largest variance among all possible substrings, right? So to calculate the largest variance, we need to pick two characters from the string so in this example, we have only two distinct characters that is A and B. We need to calculate the frequency of A and frequency of B. And we need to take difference between them. And we have to maximize this difference, right? Similarly, we have to make character B as my first character and A as my second character, right? we have to do for all possible pairs, right? So we have to take the frequency of character one and frequency of character two, and we need to take the difference between them. And we have to maximize that particular value, right? So assume we pick the first pair, A and B, then we iterate through the string. So we are going to start from the first character, A, so here we are considering A as my substring and here we will count the frequencies of the two characters A and B. So here we will be having F1, F2. So here F1 represents the count of A and F2 represents count of B. So both will be zero at the start. Here we have encountered A at the start. So we increase the frequency of A by one. That is the count of A. And the next condition that we need to note that is that whenever the second character is, is not encountered in the substring, we should not update the variance. The variance is zero, right? So whenever a particular character is repeated continuously, the variance is zero for that particular substring. We should only update the variance when we have a second character encountered in the substring right so in this substring we have only a so we extend the substring now so we are at this a right so again we need to increase the count of a so here f1 becomes 2 so since we haven't encountered the second character in this particular substring we just expand the substring so here it becomes a a b so now we are at B. So since we have encountered B, we have to increase the frequency of B. That is F2, right? So now both the frequencies are greater than zero. So we need to update the maximum variance. So we need to take the difference between F1 and F2. So two minus one is going to be one. So largest variance seen so far is one. So then we pick the next character that is A. So we need to increase the count of A. So F1 becomes 3. So again F1 and F2 are greater than 0. We need to take difference between them. We are going to get 2. So here the previous maximum variance is 1 and the current maximum variance is 2. So we need to update the maximum variance as 2. Right? So maximum variance becomes 2 now. Then we pick the next character b we have to increase the count of b so again both the frequency are greater than zero we take difference between them we are going to get one then we need to take the maximum between the current variance and the maximum variance so here maximum variance remain as two so now we take the next character b again so we need to increase the count of b so here f2 becomes three again and the difference between them is going to be zero, which will be less than my previous maximum variance that is two. So we pick the next character and we need to increase the count of B. So now whenever the frequency of character two is greater than the frequency of character one, we need to reset both the frequencies as zero because we are taking strictly difference between character one and character 2 we are going to get a negative value so we are resetting the frequencies here right so now we are done with this string 
now we pick the next pair that is b a so now f1 represents the count of character b and f2 represents the count of character a so we are calculating for all possible scenarios that might happen so first we took first character as my a and second character as b now we are taking first character as b and second character as a right so again we will iterate through the string so first i will pick the first character a and i will increase the count of a which is nothing but f2 right so now it becomes 1 so now we can see that right f2 is greater than f1 which means we are not going to maximize the variance so we reset the frequencies so again i will pick the next character again i will increase the count of a so again we are not going to maximize the variance we have to reset the frequencies now we pick the character b and we will increase the count of b that is my f1 so here the variance remain as zero so we don't have to update the variance we will pick the next character that is a and we will increase the count of a so which means we are in this substring right so again the variance will be zero we pick the next character that is b we increase the count of b and difference between 2 and 1 is going to be 1 and the previous maximum variance is greater than the current variance so we don't have to update the maximum variance we pick the next character that is b again we increase the count of b and difference between f1 and f2 will be 2 since my previous maximum variance is 2 we don't have to update the maximum variance now we pick the next character b so now the frequency f1 becomes 4 so we are in this substring right we could see that using the frequencies we have four b's in the substring and one a and if i take the difference between these two frequencies i'm going to get three and we have to update the maximum variance as three so now we have done with all possible pairs so after iterating through the string we need to reverse the string then we will use the same pairs to find maximum variance again so the reason why we need to perform iterations in the original order and in the reverse order is that we can cover all possible substrings in different directions right this is necessary because the largest variance may occur in a substring that appears in either the original or in the reverse order so by considering two potential ways we don't have to miss any kind of substring that might contribute to the largest variance right so after finishing for the reverse order we need to return the maximum variance that is three in this particular example that's all the logic is now we will see the code so before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so initially f1 f2 will be zero and the maximum variance will be zero at the start then we will take the distinct list of pairs from the string so here this loop will run for two times that is for the original order and for the reverse order then in the next for loop we pick the pairs and whenever we pick the pairs we reset the count of both the characters right so in the next for loop we pick the characters in the string and then we check whether that particular character is in my pair or not if it is not there we just continue else we increase the count of the particular letter right then we need to check if the count of f2 that is the character 2 is greater than the character 1 we have to reset both the frequencies else we need to check whether both the frequencies are greater than 0 if it is true we have to update the maximum variance then after finishing the two loops we have to reverse the given string then we need to repeat the process then finally we need to return the maximum variance right that's all the code is now we will run the code thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys